Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, we're going to be revisiting uh, building a dedicated streaming PC uh, because parts have changed, things are not available anymore. So I'm just going to help walk you through if I was building one, which I think I'm going to be building one pretty soon. What parts would I be using now? So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If it's just first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. So, hey, things have gotten tough. <laughs> Graphics cards are still hard to get. Um, so hopefully... Maybe we can switch it up a little bit. I know a lot of people have been happy with the Ryzen 3 3200G, which has been a workhorse. Um, but it's kind of hard to get them now, and they're overpriced, mainly because we've had some new generations of chips that have came out. So what would I do? What would I build my system with now? So let's go over here and cut over the PC part picker, and we'll just show you what we would do. All right, we are here on PC Part Picker. Let's go ahead and um, build something, shall we? Or at least put the pieces together and then we'll actually jump over to where I normally get my stuff from just to see what's going. So graphics cards are still ridiculously overpriced. Um, you know, so if we were going for a 1660, which is old now, you see they're still going for like 500 and some odd dollars and higher, which is crazy. You can look for a Radeon, maybe 5600, and that gets even worse. If you look for a, a RTX 2060, again, crazy. We're at the 3060, and, you know, just ridiculous prices. So, again, most of the stuff that I do with my dedicated streaming systems is it's meant just by the word, dedicated. It doesn't run anything else. So... I can afford to put a lot more horsepower into the CPU, which are not crazy out of control in pricing, and just let the streaming be done on that. All right. So for me, what I've been playing around with, and y'all didn't see this, I was actually building a system with this processor. The new um, APUs from um, AMD actually blessed my daughter's um godfather with it it is a ryzen 5 5600g which is um a beast of a system um cpu now the reason i'm going with this is normally i use the ryzen 5 1600 um, which is six cores 12 threads which is the same thing as this but it has a gpu embedded getting a just a cheap um gt 710 which is what i used to use because they're still available even though that price has kind of risen on those graphics cards so say let's come over here and say we're looking for a ryzen 5 1600 and i am on new egg you can get this for maybe around like 154 dollars all right but say we want to also get you need a graphics card because this is a cpu only we look over here for the GT710, which is the bottom of the barrel um, type of graphics card. I could go with this one, but let's go ahead and actually jump over to this one. And this is reasonably priced. Has two gigs of memory. So we're really just using this just to get a, um, an image on the screen. All right. So if we look at that right now, just those two pieces, older processors going for 200 and 207 dollars you get the ryzen 5 5600g the newer processor that has a gpu built in it's going for around oh actually <laughs> the price changed right there it's going for 30 dollars more so older tech that will still get you what you need but thirty dollars more will get you the latest and greatest uh, that's why i'm leaning more towards that because then i don't have to worry about the graphics card at all all right so that's what we're going to use you don't have to worry about the cooler because it's already there 
Now, since this, this is the newer system, you got to get a B550 or higher chipset. So let's go ahead and just search for that. Um, still a micro ATX. I mean, unless you really want to put a lot of stuff in it. But again, this is a dedicated streaming system. So you're not really going to be putting anything else on here. So you got a couple of pri um, boards that I've used that you can play around with. Um, you could go with the ASRock one here. Wish it would give me some other details, some more pictures, but it doesn't. I've used that one. Um, again, you still have the the Gigabyte version of the DS3H, the B550 version. That's what I normally use. Um, I've also used the MSI um, B550M a pro but again you're looking at maybe saving yourself ten dollars so i'm gonna and actually this one has a greater range of memory capacity so i'm gonna stick with this one because this is what i've normally used um i will of course go with 16 gigs of memory at this point don't don't even waste your time getting a system with less than 16 gigs i even just updated my laptop to 32 um gigs because i mean it's it's very very affordable all right. Now, again, we don't have to worry about a, a GPU because we have one built in. And even if we didn't use it for its encoding, the processor is more than fast enough as well. So for storage, honestly, 512 gigabyte um, SSD NVMe is what I would do. And let's pick... 2280 M.2. Um, I've played along with a lot of these. The um, Team MP, I've used them. The Samsung, which is one of the fastest. But again, not really that pressing. So honestly, I would save right here and go with the Silicon Power, which is what I've used before. Or you can jump over to, um, um, I've used the A Data. It doesn't really matter at this point because it's mainly just going to be running your software, vMix, OBS, whichever one you choose and I'm um, the operating system. So I'm just going to go with this one and cut some corners right here. Well, we can go with the we can go with this Intel one. Get an Oh, wait a minute. Here's another one. I've never heard of that company. Let's go ahead and just stick with the silicon power. It's $2. All right. You could bump it up and go to a 1 terabyte if you wanted to, but again, we're not really installing a lot on this. All right. So like I said, no video card. Don't have to worry about that that at all. Cases not really hard pressed for these. Um, at this point, we're looking for something very low in price because, hey, it's not going to be used that much. Now, this Fantex, <clears throat> excuse me, this Fantex case is an ATX mid tower that can fit an ATX motherboard, but it's at the same price. So, honestly, for helping out in the future, if you want to go to a bigger motherboard, I would just go with this one because it will save you. In the future, and I've built a couple of systems with this one. I think I built um, Augustine's um, PC that I gave him um, in this same case. So that's a really good case at that price. All right, power. It's saying right now this system is only using about 150 watts, but I'm going to go with my standard. I don't go, oh, well, I'm going to do a 80 plus bronze, and then I'm going to have at least. 500 watts. So we go with this EVGA, which I've used tons and tons of times before. And yeah. Now I'll be honest, at this point, even with a dedicated streaming system, um, I you could throw in an ATEM with that, but then you have to sit back and think. If you throw in an ATEM Mini Pro for your capture card, that's gonna give you four inputs. It can live stream itself. So, huh. so we're at 533 right now. Well, just say 550. So if you wanted to throw in a capture card, I'm still a fan of the Decklink um, Mini Recorder 4K. Um, but if you're looking for any type of capture card that has more than one input, you're looking at the same price as an A10 Mini Pro. You could use the A10 Mini. But again, the A10 Mini does not have a multi-view, so you won't be able to tell of all the inputs that are coming in 
that's why I'm leaning more towards the A10 Mini Pro. So that's up to you. But like I said, I would say, um, and I normally have this in here, but the Decklink Mini Recorder 4K is still going for $195. Thankfully, that has not jumped up in price in any way, shape, or form. So you're getting a beast of a system still around the same price. Now, I didn't include a monitor. You throw in another monitor. Well, let's just throw one in there. Um, and at this point, we're just looking for one just to be able to display some stuff. So here's an Asus here for a hundred and that's at 1080p. That's at $115. That'll be fine. You know, and then you still got your keyboard and mice. I mean, it, you ain't got to get nothing fancy for that. I mean, you can get some of these um, CVS Walgreens keyboards, and that'll be more than enough for you um, here. I mean, but if you want it, let's let's just go ahead and get the the Logitech one, and then we'll also get us a Mies or something like that, and we get ourselves a Logitech one as well too. So twenty dollars for keyboard and mouse, and we got a full system here with a capture device. Minus the operating system, but again, you can still get Windows 10. Stay away from Windows 11 for right now. You can get Windows 10, or you can put Linux on this system, and it will work. And then it's completely free. You're looking at a system with shipping. You're probably going to throw another $75 on there. So you're going to be right at around uh, 825 and I mean, excuse me, 925 some dollars like that. So we're still in the same price range, but we're still getting more power with it. So um, hope that helps. We're actually going to be building a system for a ministry right now because I got to write this up as an estimate and send it to them. Um, and these parts are readily available right now. So really excited about that. But um, there will be a link down below to all of these parts. And of course, y'all know when we build the system, I would take y'all along. We're going to test it out, see how it performs and do what we normally do. We haven't built a computer in quite a while. Um, so I'm excited about that. But anyway, if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now. And YouTube can become a patron for as little as $1 a month or a YouTube member by clicking the join button down below. No matter which way you pick, folks, you are helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video. Later.